Hey guys, Duke here. In my Summoner's War Farmville series, I'm going to highlight powerful, farmable monsters. PvP today is dominated by tanky nukers such as Theomars, Perna, and Escher. But what about those of us who aren't lucky enough to summon one of those bruisers? In today's episode of Farmville, I'm going to highlight the farmable bruiser Gorgo. Who the heck is Gorgo? He's a dark war bear. He's two stars and farmable via secret dungeon. So my Gorgo, he's just using leftover runes, but he's still got about 28,000 health, 42 crit rate, 210 crit damage. And you can see the rune set that I'm using is Rage and a Broken set. I have HP, crit damage, HP, and 246. His first skill has an 85% chance to reduce the enemy's attack gauge by 25%. Uh, that's when fully skilled. And it's pretty easy to skill him off because he's just a warrior. The second skill is an AoE attack break for two turns every three turns. Third skill, now this is the big nuke. 70% added crit bonus and a stun with only a three turn cooldown. All three skills are based on max HP, which means that you can root him to have high HP, which makes him survivable while he still does big damage. How big is his damage? Well, let's test it out here on some level 20 mobs. And I brought along my Dark Ifrit just to provide a little added HP. We'll do a defense break here from Bella and then skill three from Gorgo. 36,000 damage. So it's a pretty big chunk of damage, but you might say, okay, that's only a level 20 mob. I'm typically not gonna be fighting level 20s. So why don't we take a look at a level 40 mob, which is what you're typically going to encounter in Arena, as well as in Guild Wars, etc. And again, I have this uh, Rune Rage, but there are different rooting options, and we'll talk about those. Yet again, we have Defense Break, Skill 3, 30,000 damage. So it's still pretty sizable damage here for a 2-star mob. Now, if we're talking about PvP, people have higher defense due to runes. You're likely going to see that damage more like 20,000 to 25,000 damage, but that's still pretty good for a farmable bruiser. And as I mentioned, I'm using rage runes, but he can really use other rune sets because he's pretty versatile. You could use violent, or you could use, um, if you want to make him a farmer, you could use vampire. You could even make him fast and use him for his debuffs, his attack bar decrease, as well as his attack bar, uh, sorry, attack break, which actually has a lower cooldown than Arnold's. So here's the damage on his skill 2, around 13,000, even without the defense break. So we're going to set up here defense break for a couple mods and take a look at the damage from skill 1. Now that 5,500 would be tripled approximately, so we're talking about 16. 1,500 or so skill 1 if it were to crit. But let's take a look at skill 2 crit. 18,000. So that's about half of skill 3. Still a pretty good chunk of damage. So as I said, Gorgo, it's a very versatile mob. You can use him in PvP, but also in Dragons, Giants, TOA, depending on how you root him. He's good for farming as well. So I want to say I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it informative, please like it. And if you want to keep the videos coming, please subscribe. Thanks.